Hello, today I'm here with a new video and this video, this feels... I don't know how to start this. I am going to do a tag that it's called Would You Rather Makeup Edition and it is made by Kelly Gooch. I hope I pronounced that right. And she was inspired by my Bad and Boring tag and I just... It feels so cool that I could inspire someone else and I am so... It makes me so happy that people like the tag that I created. I have gained a lot of new followers when my tags start to spread and I am... It makes me so happy. It feels so freaking awesome. I... I don't know. I did this tag... The, the Bad and Boring in November and it didn't spread like at all. Some other people did it, but then Prue did it, and then I think Betty Jean did it, and Annette did it, and then it was like... Now, quite a lot of people have done it. Nikki Raven has also done it, and Angelica Nyquist, and Teresa Stead, and Smoky Glow, and it feels so cool that me, my little tag, is going around I feel honored and I'm so happy every time I see a new video with somebody doing my tag but that was not what this tag was about. This is Would You Rather Tag Makeup Edition that is made by Kelly Gooch. So yeah, this is nine questions and yeah, I think we just get started. So question number one. Would you rather have a bad base or a bad eye makeup? And she said that this was my question that inspired her to do this. And I love to hear the answer to this question. And my answer is the same that I answered in my own tag, that I would pick a good base and a bad eye makeup. Even though I love to do my eye makeup and don't like my base makeup the same, but I feel like if I have a bad base, everybody's going to see it. If I have the wrong foundation f f f shade or my blush is like uneven or something, everybody's going to see it. If I have a crazy eye that looks bad, people that are not into makeup, I don't think they will see it. I think a bad base, a good base can save a bad eye makeup. That's my opinion, so I would rather go with a um, bad eye makeup. Question number two. Would you rather wear a neutral eye for the rest of your life or a neutral lip? And this was so hard because I love like these kinds of lipsticks and this is not that neutral, I know, but I think I would choose a neutral lip. It's more fun to do eyes than to do lips. And if I only could do like a neutral eye makeup, I wouldn't enjoy makeup enjoy makeup that much that I do, so I would go with a neutral lip for the rest of my life. Even though it pains me, because then I can't do red, but if it's between red and boring eyeshadows the rest of my life, or neutral eyeshadows the rest of my life, I'm sorry red, but you have to go. Question number three. Would you rather wear the wrong foundation shade or no foundation at all? And first I was like, I would take the wrong foundation shade because you can always fix it. But then you always had to fix it every time. So I think I would go without any foundation. Yeah, without foundation. Just with highlighter and everything. I, I think I would be pretty okay. So, no foundation. Question number four. Would you rather give up primer or setting spray? And I would give up primer. Because I could use my, like, day cream as a primer. But I really want to use setting spray. Every time I don't use a set, that I do not use a setting spray, I feel so dry and everything is, like, not good. So I would definitely choose a setting spray. And also because I have dry skin, and if I don't wear setting spray, it feels like it's not sinks into my face and not together, so definitely setting spray. Question number five. Would you rather not wear makeup for a year or not drink coffee for a year? And Kelly said, like, if you don't drink coffee, choose something else that's so important for you. And for me, it's Pepsi Max. 
And I don't really know. I got a bad addiction to Pepsi Max. The thing is, Pepsi Max is the only thing. I do not smoke, I do not drink, I do not drink alcohol, I don't do anything else except for drinking Pepsi. But if I couldn't do my makeup for a whole year, would it be worth it for Pepsi? Okay, I think I would not drink Pepsi for a year. I don't know if my relationship with my boyfriend would last that year uh, because I feel I would get a little bit cranky so but yeah okay no coffee no coffee no Pepsi for a whole year. Question number six would you rather have only 60 seconds to do your daily makeup routine or have to do a full glam on our transformation every time you do your makeup and I only do my brows as my daily routine I don't use any other makeup but I think I would rather do like 60 minutes full glam because then I can watch YouTube videos, I maybe can listen to a podcast or something so and I don't want to be stressed when I do my makeup so like 60 seconds no but I, I would be able to do my daily routine in, in 60 seconds but I would rather spend an hour we're doing full glam transformation. God, I have to be up super early. <laughs> but I, I would rather pick full glam one hour. Question number seven. Would you rather only use mattes or only use shimmers? And first I was like, if it's only eyeshadow, that's easy because then I would only use matte. But then it was, she said it's uh, like all the makeup. Like the foundation and everything and... I hate a matte foundation because I, the, they always feel dry but I think I would go with matte. I like my eyes matte, I like my lips matte so I would only go with matte all the way. Even though it pains me a little bit I will only do matte and not shimmers. Question number eight. Would you rather not do makeup for a year or never watch another YouTube video ever again? I wouldn't do my makeup for a whole year. I cannot not look at YouTube and like never. I would miss my friends so much. So I would not wear makeup for a whole year. And question number nine. One has to go. Highlighter, bronzer or blush? And this is so easy for me, bronzer, because I don't use bronzer. So yeah, no bronzer for me. And if it would be, maybe I because I don't use bronzer, but if we take highlight, contour, blush, I think I would let go of contour. Because I love my blush and I love my highlight. So yeah, bronzer slash contour. And yeah, that was all for me and this video. And I will of course leave Kelly up here, down in the description, her video and her YouTube channel. And yeah, I think I will tag some people. I usually don't do it but I'm starting to do it because I know it makes me really happy to be tagged in something and I think that you also feel that so yeah I will tag some people but if I forgot somebody just do this tag because I think it's fun to hear what you think about these things so yeah I really hope you liked this video don't forget to check out Kelly and I hope I will see you in the next one bye